The firm representing Wilkes said in a statement Thursday, we are shocked and disturbed that the incredible job Coach Wilkes did as the interim coach, including bringing the team back into playoff contention and garnering the support of the players and fans, that he was passed over for the head coach position by David Tepper. There is a legitimate race problem in the NFL, and we can assure you that we will have more to say in the coming days. This morning, Steve Wilkes tweeted the following, the sun rose this morning. And by the grace of God, so did I. I'm disappointed, but not defeated. Many people aren't built for this, but I know what it means to persevere and see it through. It was an honor for me to coach these men in the Carolina Panthers locker room as the interim head coach, players, coaches, and staff. Thank you for your dedication. I took pride in representing Charlotte, a great city that I love so much. Thank you to my family, to my friends, the community, for your overwhelming support. I do wish Frank Reich all the best. I will always be a fan of the Carolina Panthers. When I first saw Steve Wilkes' lawyer comment, I will confess to the both of you that my initial reaction was nervousness because I understand how this goes. The fact that he got a lawyer involved is going to be held against him. And the reality Absolutely. of the situation is how many people can Mike, how many people can Mike Tomlin hire? Because yeah. <laughs> the fact is, is that that black man who has been the standard bearer, who has been holding it down for black coaches in the NFL for the past 15 plus years, because he's been the one staple who's never had a losing record on his resume. You had people a couple of years ago that were trying to get Mike Tomlin fired. OK, I mean, this is how bad it gets for us. And this is in the midst of a Kingsbury and, and, and others getting the jobs that they don't deserve. And so when we look at it from that perspective, the thing that we have to point to that's really alarming and illuminating is the fact that it's bad enough black coaches are getting bypassed. What's worse is qualified white coaches that you can make an argument for on their behalf are getting bypassed too. You're bringing up do white dudes that are not qualified and giving them jobs over these black candidates, which makes it worse because it shows there's no criteria. When we talk about the proverbial mm -hmm. or the figurative glass ceiling, let's understand and, and, and magnify that imagery for the public so the public gets it, even though we already know they do. What it means is that the standards keep changing. It's mobile. It's fluid. It keeps moving. They make it whatever they want to be. We were very, I was very happy if Jeff, Sa Jeff Saturday is a friend, he's on a show, we all know him, we got love for him and the whole bit. But it didn't stop us from having to come on the air and speak against his hire. It had nothing to do with him as a person. It had nothing to do with his football <clears throat> intellect. It had everything to do with the fact that he had no coaching credentials and African-American candidates were bypassed and the Rooney Rule, the spirit of the Rooney Rule, was violated just to take care of your guy. Those things don't happen for us. The owners have known this for decades. The league has known this for decades. They implemented a rule years ago, decades ago, to address this issue. They have a person they pay in excess of $40 million a year in Commissioner Roger Goodell, who literally works tirelessly with Troy Vincent and others to help implement these rules and to make sure they're followed. And still, they get violated. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.